You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee Robertson and Mike Benyon Rowe. Precipitation, I said no. Just a damp gusset. Oh, well, mm. we've all been there. We've all been have indeed. What have you got for us this week, Mike? Well, I've been deep in the internet and I've found a great story and a way to help you poop. <laughs> a way to help you poop. Yes. I don't need any help with that. But anyway, on screen now, you can see our contact info. It's at the Cud TV on social media, where you can follow us, the TV for our website, and on YouTube or a podcast service, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as names whisk across the bottom of the screen, we brace ourselves for this week's showbiz with Lee. <laughs> Do the hand movement ever again. Which one? Like dad drumming. Dance. Yeah, don't do it. It's better than the other hand movement I do. Mm-hmm. Anywho, let's have some news about Madonna. Madge. Madge. Our Madge. Mm, our Madge, yeah. Do you know she's, 60, she's 63. No. She's 63. Not 200 years off that straight away. <laughs> she's 63. Now, she, she is, she, she's not a stranger to the internet. She's not a stranger to the Instagram. And, and the filters. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, her latest batch of photographs. Uh-huh. Um, they've had fans What's saying the photographographs. Word? Did the photograph word just slip away there? I just wanted to use the photographs. Oh, OK. Bringing it back. Never been. Never anyway. been, but no. I just wanted to... Yeah. So she's, she's, so she's, been, she, she's been posing topless on, on Instagram. And her fans are saying that she doesn't look like the same person. Now, you know, you know I, her body, her Instagram feed... She can do what she wants. Yeah. Um, we've, got, we've got a picture. Not of a, not of her actual <laughs> breast. <laughs> okay. That's but right. of kind of one of the... So that, we've, co- we've cropped it because she's... Uh, you know, hair extensions cover her bosoms. Picture of her on the loo because, you know, why not? Is that her? No, that's not her. Because, <laughs> bless her, bless Madonna, she seems to think that... This we filter that yesterday. she this this yeah this filter that she uses on all her Instagram posts, we think she thinks we think that's what she looks like in real life. That's not what she looks like in real life. So so fans are kind of saying, yeah, that's that's not you, is it, babes? That's not, that's not it does you know people are kind of like saying that she looks like. I mean to be fair, if that's what she looked like in real life, then fine. That's fine. Yeah. That, that looks quite good, but no. No, no, it's not. People are comparing her to Kim Kardashian, which is a horrible thing to do. Um, <laughs> yeah, she, I think they mean that as a compliment. I don't think they were. And they were kind of like saying, no, you look like Kim Kardashian. You don't, you don't even... So what I'm put, you don't, you, 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 you don't even look like the same person. Way too much work done on her face. Now, to be fair, I don't think she's had work done. It's just the filters filter, yeah, yeah. That, that she uses. Um, I mean, we've got a picture of her real face. So a couple of months ago, she was in London. She went to the Winter Wonderland thing, mm-hmm. went on a ride... Somebody took a photograph of her. I mean, that's that's the real Madonna. On a ride. On a ride. Um, <laughs> Hunkered down. Yeah, bless. Um, yeah, yeah. She's so she's she's kind of. I don't know whether she thinks that we all think. That's that, yeah. that's you, Madge. What, what, yeah, that's you. Um, yeah. So yeah, um, <laughs> she's had Instagram removed quite a lot of her, of her photographs. Saying they that were they weren't clearly not her. They well, no, not even that. They were saying that they weren't appropriate to to kind of go on the social media platform. A lot of, I mean, we've got one here um, of of one of the photographs that she's really she's put them back on. <laughs> I think she's looking for something under the bed, and she can't find it. Um, I mean, it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a look. It's a look. It's, they're, they're it's expensive a, shoes she's wearing. The, the, le bouton. Le bouton. Um, um, do you know why the soles of the 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 Louboutins are red? Um, because if you were a prostitute, mm-hmm. that's how the men would know that you were a prostitute. Because the prostitution part of Paris is also in the butching district. The butching? Butching. Butcher's district. Oh, okay. Yeah, right? And the blood would be on the ground because they didn't have sewage and it would stain the bottom of the shoes red. That's how they'd know oh. they're a hooah. A hooah. A hooah. A hooah. Oh, okay. I mean, I think, you know, Madonna, do whatever you want to do. Put as many filters on your face as you want, but don't 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 try and pretend it's you. Don't try face. and pretend that that's who you are, because that's not it really. Yeah. Um, but you know, good good on you. And yeah. whatever you found on that, whatever you're looking for under that bed, how you found it? Monsters. Yeah. Monsters. Monsters under your bed. Yeah. 
Okay. Next bit of showbiz news. Channing Tatum. You like a bit of Channing Tatum. I don't like you? a lot of Channing Tatum. Well, he's he's had a little bit of a he's had a little bit of a rest. Have a worn him out with with you know with, with COVID and stuff. And but he's back now. Okay. Back. So he he he's, he's got a lot of new films coming out, a lot of new projects. So he's kind of celebrated that by doing um, a, a cover story for a for a Fame C magazine. Oh. Um, it, they're calling it Channing Tatum's second act. Oh. Um, and it, it see we've got, we've got some we've got some pictures of of Channing. Tatum's big act. Um, so this is this is one of his, his moody shots. In... Yeah, there's somewhere I'd like to be right now. I'd like to pop my head somewhere. Oh, okay. Right, okay. So 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 in the past he's been a go-go dancer, he's been a model, um, he's, he's, he's done all sorts of things. This is gonna be this is for V-Man magazine. Never heard of it. V-Man 48, the spring summer issue. So he's got what he's got coming up is he's got a film with Sandra Bullock and Brad Pitt, mm -hmm. a film called The Lost City. Okay. He's starring in something called Pussy Island. <laughs> Why do I feel that's not a thing about cats? I, I, for, it's for director and rumoured girlfriend Zoe Kravitz, who is the daughter of Lenny Kravitz. Oh. Um, and then he's, he's doing one final Magic Mike film. Magic Mike's Last Dance. Oh, Magic Mike, because we're just cashing in again. Oh. So, he, you know, there's pictures of... We've got... This is a picture of him. There's him with oh. his, you know... Does his top off? A bit cheeky. Enjoying the year. Um, he's been talking all about how you know him and his wife have, have separated. He's he's a C classes himself as a single dad and all that. We were talking about him in the past where he's like embraced his kind of feminine side with his daughter and done mm -hmm. lots of like dressing up yeah, and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, so and we've got another picture. Mm -hmm. Just just one more picture of him just wandering off at the end of the at the end of the photo shoot. Hello. Um. Hello. Um. You know what I really hate. What? Two things about that picture. The one that is, it's not the frontal the version. Jumper. And the jumper. No, the jumper is the first issue. Okay. The second one, look at the dirty soles of his feet. Oh, the dirty, dirty boy. Oh, no. Um, did you know, now this is this is a very, very random fact that I found out when I was researching this. Did you know that his nickname is Freddy Krueger Dick? Because? Because, so once, he was filming at the very start of his career oh. in, in Scotland, and it was very, very, very cold, and the... Assistants were giving him warm water to pour down the front of his trousers because he was so cold. Somebody gave it was a film called The Eagle, and then right, so okay. what happened was he was given a, a cup of, of water, didn't check that it was temperature, it was boiling hot, poured it on his todge, burnt it, had to had to get taken to hospital, uh, scalding hot water. His penis was wrapped in bandages, which <laughs> which you had to unwrap. Um, just so we could pay later. Okay. But from that on, people call him Freddy Krueger Dick. I oh. don't think he's... he's he, I, th I think thing. it's fine. I think kissed it better. <laughs> I don't think it's scarred. I don't think it's m malformed. I need to, I need to you see. You need to see just to check. I need to see. There you go. So that uh, little 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 snippet into to the world of... of um, Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum's... I want to say taint. Channing Tatum's taint. No, but I, it wasn't. It was his penis. Yeah. Burnt Freddy Krueger Dick. Last bit... <laughs> Well, that's a bit of show business. We've done a lot of these kind of things where digital artists have turned imaginary characters into what they would look like if they were real, blah, blah, yeah. blah. So this guy, he, he um, has, he's called a Hildery Dio. Is he really? Yeah, Hildery Dio, yeah. Um, he's taken characters from The Simpsons. <laughs> Hild, you, you, you just like me, just making me say it over and over again and doubt myself that I'm actually saying it the right. <laughs> Hildrilly Dio. It's a weird name. Yeah. That's why I'm laughing. Yeah. Okay. Not so he can't pronounce it. <laughs> he has been taking the Simpsons characters and humanizing them. Okay. Now, some of these are very weird looking. Okay. So he, he, he said, What if, even as if there was a spell, they were real life and came back as flesh and blood? All right. I tried to bring them into our world through artificial intelligence. So okay. the first thing we've got is Bart Simpson. If Bart Simpson was real. He looks like he would be um, a very, very cheap twink porn. Okay. Right. Got that look. So you see what I mean? Yeah. Um, so, that, so that's Bart. Mm -hmm. Then we've got then we've got Mo, the guy from the Simpsons, Simpsons the, the bar. Bar most is like. Yeah. Ooh. That's Rich Hall, the comedian. Isn't it? <laughs> as soon as I saw it, I thought, I know that guy from somewhere. Yeah. That's the American comedian Rich Hall. Yeah. Yeah, odd. And then, you know, finally, with now this one. Hello. I, I think, but let's, it's my, it's, no, it's Ned Flanders. Let's, Daddy. No, not Daddy. No. Tash. 
ride it. No, I'm feeling that. I can tell. Oh, um, yeah. So I think that... it was brave of you to wear light coloured pants. Look at that picture oh. of the reaction you've just had. Got a tenor man underneath. It's more than just a tenor man. <laughs> and that is the end of this week's showbiz news. What was that? Ned Flanders cash riding. <laughs> There's a choice there, Lee. I don't think you took the right one. You 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 go for Channing Tatum, which is fine. All airbrushed, looks like a Ken doll. I'll go for the fake imaginary <laughs> cartoon character. <laughs> Be brought to life. Yeah. Who's a right wing Christian? Fiddle dee dee. Just doesn't say that though, does he? No. No. That's why I'm concerned about you. I want to say thank you, but I don't. Thanks for that, Lee. Totally welcome, Mike. But stick around as next, it's Mike in the booth. You're watching Chewing the Cod with Lee and Mike. Now let's go over to Mike so he can bring us the buzz. Been a bit of busy boy on the internet this week. Are you anything ever but busy on the internet? Yeah, sometimes I'm just perambulating. Oh. It's a, I've been having a fairy tub, I believe the phrase is. Oh. Yes. Um, so have you ever thought about changing your name? Not really. I oh. thought I had a quite a quite a lovely name. Yeah, you'd never change your name to something else, maybe a different gendered name. You know, if I was gonna change my name it would be something very, you know, over the top and dramatic. Right. Like like Asti Spumanti. Asti Spumanti. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's an expensive drink. Bobby Dazzler of a name that, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Um well I've got a story here about a mum who's changed her name. Has she? Yes. Um, because she didn't feel that her name reflected who she was. Okay. Um, so this lady has changed her name to Unicorn Sparkles. You know, I'm on board. I thought you might be. I'm showing some interest. <laughs> For a change. She's like, oh, 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 oh I'm interested that. in this one. Okay. Um, so, yes, yeah, she's obsessed with myth mythical creatures and has changed her name to Marie Unicorn Sparkles while watching a Netflix show. Marie. That's her first name. Marie Unicorn Sparkle. Yeah. No, it, I mean, that, to be fair, that's not that glamorous. If you're going to go for the whole full thing, go for something, you know, like Chardonnay. <laughs> Unicorn Sparkles. Sparkles. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, she was previously Marie Nesbitt. Okay. Um, but she said that she it didn't spark joy. So she changed her name um, in 2019. She's cleared out her wardrobe. Oh. And now wears nothing but unicorn-inspired outfits. Nice. So in including a lovely little headpiece that we saw. Right, okay. Lots of pastels and pinks. And, right, right. And unicorn colours. Um, yeah, and legally changed her name. Is she married? She is married. Is she... Her husband is still called Nesbitt. <laughs> He's not changed his name. He's not taken her name. No. Have they asked, has she got children? She's got children. What are they called? They're called Sparkles as well. <laughs> 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 She's changed the kids' names. Oh, so she, so what are they like called Frank Sparkle Unicorn? <laughs> no, no. So her first her middle name is now Unicorn. So it's yes. Marie Unicorn Sparkles. Sparkles. Right, they've kept their human name. Okay. Um, but are all Sparkles apart from her husband. Oh, okay. Yeah. Who said that she's having a midlife crisis? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it says him, a fairy Tinker Bell. Jizz wings or something like that. I don't yeah. know where I got that from. Um, so daughters Eloise and Esme Sparkle. Es Esme Sparkle Unicorn. No, the unicorn. unicorn Sparkle. No, no, no. So the mum is called Unicorn. Oh, that's her first name. Surname unicorn. But she said she's called Marie Unicorn Sparkle. Yeah, but that's what she's going by, Marie Unicorn Sparkle. Oh, so she's next. Oh, so she's, the children are just called the first name Sparkles. Yeah. But I'm all on board with that. I think really? that's, that's a beautiful thing. I, I thought you might be on board mm. with that. Yeah. Something else I found that you might be on board with. It's research that's been done about poop. Okay. Okay. And how to make sure that you're pooping properly. I know how to poop properly. Well, you know, sometimes you, you might go a bit too far on the dairy or too far on the anti-dairy tablet, shall we say. I, I never go anti-dairy. Anti I don't do it. If it's going to come, it's going to come. Okay. You don't, I don't, I'm, don't not, I'm not it. taking anything to stop it because okay. it turns it to concrete and then <laughs> it's, it's not pleasant at all. Okay. Well, this is a story about the best way to help you defecate 
to remove your stool. Squatty potty. A squatty potty. And to moo. Moo? To moo, like a cow. When you're on the pooping. shitter. <laughs> yes, while you're on the throne. The throne. The throne. I have a squatty potty. I can believe it. Do you use it? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. I, okay. I start, you know, if I'm planning ahead. <laughs> right. If you think, oh, in an hour. Not I think a rush. <laughs> Where's my squatty potty? Wait, oh, it's too in late. In an hour, I need to, to lay a log. I'll get the squatty potty out ready. But if it's, you know, oh, I've got to go now, then I don't. Yeah. Because it's elevating your legacy. It opens your bowels up. Okay. Yeah, but I don't. I don't know about the mooing part. Yeah, but about if if you moo mm -hmm. while you poo, moo. What does the mooing do? It helps you to relax. And oh, okay. So if you, you squat here, you go moo, moo. Yeah, it works. You shut yourself. Mm. Oh, awkward. Yeah, but well done for that that research. Yes, there's research about about you. Know. Is that why cows are always shitting themselves in the fields? Because they're continually mooing. Continually mooing, continuously just always shitting. mooing. Yeah, just a circle of crap. <laughs> No, I've so, never seen a cow use a squatty potty though. Well, did they need to? No, because they're just mooing all the time. I was going to say, exactly. Constant, so just constantly, constantly mooing. mooing, continually pooing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah, nice. that's some research for you. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. You know, you're not going to give it a Perhaps try. in the privacy of my own home. Yeah, I was going to say, like. I'm not going to go to, like, you know, <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> like, no. In a cubicle. No. <laughs> I'm impressed you've upgraded to a cubicle. <laughs> <laughs> They don't like it when you sit in the urinal. They don't, no. Um, now, I've I've been internet shopping. Have you? Right, because on TikTok, I know you're not on TikTok. I'm aware of it. As, as you scroll through videos, sometimes little videos pop up that turn out to be adverts and let you uh, buy things directly from the app, uh, which is dangerous. Dangerous. Because you can get things like this. Oh, uh, what, what have you bought? So, you know I like a scented candle? Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is the replacement of a scented candle. It's a fragranced humidifier. And what you do is you put your fragrance and water in. Right? I can put... Oh, it lights up. Like I've had one for about 10 years. One of those? Yeah. Yeah, and you press the button and it... Little puffs of yeah. fragrance there. I thought that was this brilliant. Is, this isn't news. This is news to me. To you? To me, yeah. But to anybody else who is in the current world, okay. they've been going for years. I said, I thought that was brilliant. I think it's lovely. Not a new invention, babe. Do you, do you like the smell that's in there? Is it... What smell have you got? Oh, no, I've put the wrong thing in. Well, have you, is it poppers? I've put poppers in. I thought I was strangely ex... Strange. Don't moo. Do not moo. Where did that chair go, though? <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> what is it? Is it menthol? It is menthol, yes. <laughs> I've had a bit of a cold. I've had a bit of a bunged up nose. Is it Vix? It's not Vix. It's just menthol crystal. Oh, how it's lovely. Water. But isn't that lovely? I it is for you. It's nice. nice, yeah. But, it, yeah. you know, uh, we know welcome to the 21st century. But, yeah, I just thought that was quite lovely. Nice little... Well done, you. Yeah. I don't like Does it come up as a sex toy or anything? No, it doesn't have to. Okay. Anyway, um, but if you find something interesting on social media, feel free to share it with us at the Could TV. And that brings us on to our story of the week. Now, Lee, products sometimes, you can get them and they'll last for a long time. Mm. Yeah? Like a favourite cushion. I don't have a favourite cushion. Why do you look at me like that? The number of cushions that you random, have. Here. Well, a random thing. Do you have a favourite cushion? Well, there's one of a f***. Um, but I, I, I call that boyfriend. Uh, <laughs> Lawrence, watch the show. No, That's so okay, crazy. No. Um. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, this is a story about a devastated mum who's had to return a product after 14 years. 14? 14 years. Right, yes. Okay. Um, her vibrator of 14 years has broken down. <sighs> right. She was so devastated when her faithful vibrator of 14 years that she wrote to Anne Summers to thank them um, and say that the 50 pound sex toy was better than any bloke. Couldn't put up shelves or change a tyre. Or could it? Well, we don't know. Um, it broke. But here's the thing. So it's 14 years old. Okay. Vibrator. Okay. The 35-year-old claims that her old faithful companion has seen her through thick and thin times of need. She's not using it a lot if, it, if it's lasted 14 years. So since 21, she's had a vibrator. So she, so you know, I would expect them to, to, to I mean, you, you're a, you're a, a, a user of, of, of toys. How vibrators? 
Well, you know, like, I know, jellies and stuff, how long do yeah, they last? Yeah, the jellies don't wear down that quickly, because, you know, solid silicone. You know, you get a good okay. five years out of that. Was it, was it, when it was it? I imagine, like, ju- I mean, judging her. Judging her. It'll be pink, glitter, like a little rabbit You don't on want it. glitter. In the actual fabric, oh, in that inside, actual inside. stuff. Not, not actually on the outside. No, scratchy, no. Scratchy, scratchy. Don't no, want. but sort of mixed into the silicone, like a rampant rabbit. That's They were all the rage, weren't they? Um, it was a pink rabbit. There you go, you see. I knew it. She looks like the type. Yeah, and she'd she, have a name for it. She bought Bunny, it. <laughs> Bunnykins. <laughs> she bought it at a um, Ann Summer's party. Oh. Um, where they're all like giggling and going, hee they're yeah. not, I mean, that, you're gonna, but you, if you're going to one of those things, you're going to buy the pink, you're going to buy the pink cute one. You're not going to go for the, you know, 12 inch black fist. <laughs> Double fist. <laughs> I like the pink one, but have you got a black fist? <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, she said, through thick and thin, through times of need, three children and four house moves and a failed marriage, her old faithful has decided to part ways. Did they, did they reply? Um, did they, they said, don't be such a cheap bitch, get a new one. They said they were happy to be sister assist. Have they seen anything that is would that she was drawn to buy? Um, <laughs> well, now you mention it. Up, updated range of rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> now you mention it. Have you got a big black fist? <laughs> <laughs> <Two> black fist. <laughs> oh well, well you know she's 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 got the she's got a good use out of that. It's, fourteen you know, years. Of, yeah. Fourteen years. I mean, after fourteen years. I'm surprised it's not going to, you know, it's not reached the stage it's going to burn a clit off. <laughs> it's just that. Kind of... It's the noise value. Yeah. You know, motors after a little while, they start to get a bit chunky. <laughs> <don't they? laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because the, the, the rabbit, the ra- not that I have one, but the rabbit one, yeah. it's got a little little bunny rabbit that sits on it that has two little ears like that. And those those go for the ladies, um, um, th- that part of the ladies. I don't know. I've never been down there, so I don't know what there is, you know, Thinking of the word vulva? No, clitoris. Clitoris. Cl- like it. Clitoris. It's got no, it... fangs. Clitoris. Clitoris. <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly. Clitoris. No, that's not... Allegedly clitoris. <laughs> that, yeah. like a new version of Suddenly Seymour. <laughs> allegedly clitoris. That's yeah, the yeah. end of the buzz this week. Thank you, Mike. That, that, was, that was informative. Yeah, I must check the sell-by date on my uh, big black fist. Um, anyway, stay with us, because coming up, we have our game of the week. You're watching Chewing the Cod. This week we are playing Faster Hind, where Mike answers the questions that come out of our random question generator. So, Mike, what you need to do is you need to pop off to the studio of questions. Okay. I didn't rehearse that one. Game of the Week. The rules are quite simple. I'm going to ask the questions and Mike has got to answer them as quickly as he can. Are you ready, Mike? Okay. No. Yes. What's the answer? I don't know what's the answer. So the first topic is arts and music. Oh, I like art. So who are you? You wrote clear and present danger and debt of honour. Who are you? Who am I? Yeah. I'm Mike Benny Rowe. No, it's it's one of those rhetorical questions. Who are you? Rhetorical question as in I don't need to answer it. No, as in... Hypothetical questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, who is the person who wrote Clear and Present Danger and Debt of Honour? Um, Stephen King. Tom Clancy. Oh. Whoever he may be. So, next question. The subject is geography and nature. What is the name of Namibia's... <laughs> of where? What... What is the name of Nambia's? Nambia. Namibia. Namibia. Namibia's. Namibia. <laughs> what is the name of that country's most renowned game reserve, one of the largest in the world? I don't know. Well, I wouldn't know that. Atusha National Park. Oh, okay. You don't even know the name of the country. I do. Well, yeah, I don't even know where that is. Okay, entertainment celebrity. Might do a little bit better on this one. No. Um, why did Danish Prime Minister, oh bloody hell, Hell Thorning Schmidt, hit the headlines? 
in December 2013. Um, Schmidt. I like saying that. Okay, what was his first name? Helly Sh- Thorning Schmidt. Heil. Sh- I don't know what it is. How do you say it? H E L L E. Hell. Ali. Ali. Ellie Thorning Schmidt. As in the comet? No, H E double L E. Like the comet. That's Halle. Hell Thorning Schmidt. Did anyway, why was he in the why did oh, he just, was just saying the Danish Prime Minister? Yeah. Right. In, in nineteen thirty. Why was he why was he in the headlines? He felched a cat. Well Well, you misgendered her. She took a selfie of herself, David Cameron and Barack Obama and Nelson Mandela's memorial service. Oh, so, I'm sorry I've misgendered someone whose name I have no idea <laughs> whose Lee couldn't say it. <laughs> History and religion. Yes. Who was the founder of Methodism? Oh. Hmm. Um. John Thomas. Well, you you were half there. John Wesley. Oh, no. Don't try and use words for penis in this game. I'm thinking that nobody's going to know. <laughs> What are you insinuating that I would make something serious into an innuendo? We all know what John Thomas is. What's the John Thomas? The penis. Is it penis? The word for a penis. Why is it penis? I don't know. Oh, God. Uh, This is like being back at school. Spelling. Sports and pastimes. Mm. I can't. (laughs) Maccabee Diva (laughs) completed the third consecutive win in which famous Australian horse race in 2005. So, um, I'm going to say the Melbourne Cup. You would be right. Yeah. Um, and you know when you're picking a question, mm-hmm. just pick one that you can read. None of them. None of them, Mike, I you can read. You're not even trying. You're just picking up and go, oh, no. I'm going anyway. Uh. So, we're back on to entertainment and celebrity. Okay. Which book, the third in the series, had fans reeling in horror when they realised a romantic hero had been killed off by the author? Twilight. No. Mad About the Boy by Helen Fielding. Never heard of it. No. This, is, this, is this the questions that the producer got from the, from the charity shop? All of the questions the producer gets from the charity shop. <laughs> okay, arts and music. <laughs> Which fruit gave its name to the record label founded by the Beatles in the 1960s? Which now that's an easy Fruit? One. Yeah. Apple. Yeah! History and religion. Okay. Oh, for f- from which country was Slobodan Milosevic <laughs> removed from power in 2000? Is that how you say it? Slobodan? Slobodan Milosevic? Slobogob? That is correct, but please <laughs> stop saying it, because when you say it for some reason, it sounds like um, Bill, and, Bill and Ben talking. <laughs> <laughs> Slobodan Milosevic. Anyway. Where Russia. was it? What country? Russia. No. USSR. Yugoslavia. I don't know. Slobodob was removed <laughs> from Yugoslavia. Okay. <laughs> Geography and nature. What is the name of the famous deep, steep walled canyon in northwest Arizona? The Grand Canyon. It is. Also my, my, my Tinder's name. The Grand Canyon? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know someone called me a goat throat the other day? I had to Google what that was. What do, what what does it mean, perchance? <laughs> if you can hear producer Jay laughing, he's also gone bright red. Throat goat, not goat throat. I don't know. Throat goat. Yes, throat goat. Not goat throat. Not goat throat completely. What, what does it mean? Does it mean you can get a, a substantial amount down your throat? <laughs> throat goat is somebody who sucks. <clears throat> Better than anybody else. Yeah. Oh. It's somebody that regurgitates grass, I believe. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I'm taking it as a compliment. Niche. Niche. Anyway, let's get on this one, which you won't get. Sports and pastimes. Which team inflicted England's only defeat during the 2010 FIFA World Cup qualifying campaign? Italy. That would be the Ukraine. I don't know why I'm sounding so super silly. I have no idea. You've got it written down on a piece of card in front of you. Yeah. It's like, oh no, do you not know that, Mike? Oh. Science and invention. Okay, different category for change. Okay. What invention of Edwin Budding in 1831... <laughs> is, Viagra. I don't care. Is an it's aid Viagra. In the, in, to the keen gardener. Viagra. Lawnmower. Oh. 
Try getting one of those down your throat. <laughs> or get, helping it get you an erection. <laughs> History and religion. It's a ride on. What were the Boston Tea Party protesters unhappy about? The British. They were unhappy about tea taxes. Which were inflicted by the British. Not the answer, though, on the question. There's got to be some other categories in there, Lee, that we can, we're we skipping. No, I'm doing them all one by one, the six categories. OK. Don't it feels, get, it don't feels get, very similar, that's all. Don't get arsy with me, I'm just doing it. Badly, yeah. Entertainment and celebrity. See, we've had entertainment and celebrity. I'm working my way category, across. And I'm, then to... I'm going, what the burr, the burr, the burr, the burr. God. Harold Ramis, who died in February 2014, is best known for playing a paranormal scientist in which 1980s movie? Weird science. <laughs> Ghostbusters. Geography and nature. Oh, hasn't this gone on for a long time? Geography and nature, yeah. What I'm is sure this other category saying? You know. Right, there's the arts and music, geography and nature. arts and music before. I just, I, do, I get, arts and music. Okay. okay. Oh, God. The birth of Venus and the Primavera are paintings by who? Hang off. Botticelli. <laughs> Go on, you, 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 you pick your category, what you moody bitch. Which one do you want? What options have we got? Oh, God. You see, you, you don't even know what options Well, are. I do not want Arts celebrity. and music, geography and nature, entertainment and celebrity, science and invention, sports and pastime. Sports. History. What athletic event do you associate with Steve Backley? Backlever. That's a cake. The javelin. The meat javelin. No, what do... No, not, not what does the world associate. What do I... I associate it with Black, Backlever. What would you like next? We've got like six seconds left. Um, I'll have um, a science and invention piece. The tibia is which bone in the human body? Arm bone, I think. Shin. Uh, leg bone, then. Oh, wait, do, have we, do you know if we finished or is there more? One more. One more. What category would you like? Just not celebrity. Just not celebrity. So entertainment. No, um, we'll we'll go for we'll go for a we'll go for another we'll go for history and religion. Hold it. <laughs> what was established at Botany Bay in Australia in 1788? Ooh, now two things you could say here. Um, um a colonisation of an indigenous race. Okay, that's not the answer. What's the answer? A penal colony. I never thought you would have known that. It's not that kind of... They don't mean penal as in penis. It means as in prison. Oh. A penis colony. They're not talking about wangs. They're talking about, yeah. Naughty people. Naughty people. Naughty people. Well. Naughty. There we go. Yeah. I'm, I'm, oh, yeah. Let's not do any more. No. Stay with us, please. Because after this quick break, it's that science that is. Oh, crap. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's that part of the show, not the jazz hands, it's time to go over to Mike, and that science that is. That science that is. I miss winter. Do you love? Yeah, I do. Why is that? It's just, I miss snow. Do you? We've yeah. not had snow for years, though. All right, well, we've had snow. It's just not been a lot of it. So today we're going to make snow. Oh, are we? We're going to make artificial snow. Oh. Yeah. Um. So in your little your little ve vessel, you should have some white powder. Yes, I do. Corn flour. Corn flour. Yeah. And then you should have some shaving foam. Do indeed. I want you to add equal parts shaving foam to your corn flour. So the amount of corn flour you've got, add the same amount of shaving foam. Okay. Shall I go first or do you want to go? I'll let you go first. <laughs> oh, okay. And then mix it in. Let's do 
the same thing. Oh, I had a, vi a vicious spurt. Is it more of a fold than a mix? How'd you fold? You kind of like go, ooh. Like fold it in. Did you ever watch Shit's Creek? Yeah. Yeah, it's the joke about the folding. Cheese. Yeah, folding cheese. Just fold the cheese. Okay, now as you mix this, we need to make people aware that this isn't real snow. Now, how do you tell if snow is dangerous? <clears throat> if it holds a knife to your throat. Because it's yellow. Oh. <laughs> so I'll give you some yellow food dye. Just pop a little bit of yellow food dye in as well. Oh, okay. Just give it a mix about. You added some yellow food dye? Yeah, I have, I have. Not the done. easiest thing to mix with a spatula. It's not very easy to add, I know, but mix, I know, but it's science, not ease. And then once you've fully mixed it, you've got lovely fluffy snow. Exciting. I don't have snow. I do, it's artificial snow. I don't have that. I just have. You've added too much cream then. Oh. Because I've got snow. Got that. Let me see. Got that. Yeah, you've added too much cream. I did say equal parts. Oh. There you go. So you, you can make snowmen and all sorts out of this. If you wanted to. Um. I can't. Why not? Oh, because you've, you've f***ed it up. Yeah. That's right. I'm just going to use my hand a little bit just to mix it a little bit better. You could use your hand too because you've got a glove on. But it's a splodge. Well, pop your hand in and, and, and mix it about a bit and it'll go snowy. See? Yeah. Yeah. That, that's it. Is that it? We've made artificial snow. Oh, right, okay. Good day, innit? Yeah. That's it. So, um, yeah, that's science, that is. That's science, that is. Well, that was short and sweet. I thought you'd like that. Yeah, yeah. Have you noticed a theme throughout today? About all the things I've covered? Not really. Is not? No. Unicorns. Yeah. Pooping. Yeah. Lovely fragrance things. Yeah. Because what, what people don't realise is that this week it's a very special day for somebody. No, it's not. It's somebody's 25th birthday, isn't it, Lee? Not really, no. No, is it not? No. Is it not? Are you sure? Positive. I don't know. So you're just, you're just you're wasting airspace now, aren't I you? I don't think I am. Um, If we just buzz producer Jay... Might start moving. Is yeah. A little birdie told me it's a very special is day. It, is that the reason why you 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 rushed through that pile yes. of shit? <laughs> why do you think we were doing something so simple and so basic? I thought I could go home a bit earlier. No. <laughs> no. Not quite. No. Um, yeah, keep going. <laughs> I'm getting panicked instructions from the side. Going. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh. oh. That's lovely. <laughs> oh, yeah. Five. Smell of sulfur. Yes. Reminds me of my birth. <laughs> I don't know how long this goes on for. Oh, okay. It's it's pyrotechnic. Oh my. But there's presents too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. And we've also got some Beautiful lovely chicken. flowers. Oh, how lovely! Yes. They're actually real flowers. I know you're they not are used real to those, flowers. Things. Oh, they're beautiful. Thank yeah. you. A little bit of something. Oh, would myself. you would you like me to open my 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 present I, now? You maybe blow out your candles before you get too waxy on your cake, your chocolate cake. Wow. 
I've impressed you. Manage that. Yeah. yeah. Is, it, is, is, it a, is it made it's out of... It's a real chocolate cake. It's a cake. real cake. It's a real chocolate cake. Wow. But should you wish to share it, you can. But you don't have to. No. No. I'll just take it home. Yeah. Um, oh, well, how lovely. Oh, this, we've got a... We've got a We've got a bottle of Kylie Prosecco. Yes, we know you won't uh, drink it, but you'll cherish um, it forever. No, I do. I actually do drink Kylie Prosecco. <laughs> do you really? It takes about a month. <laughs> um, but that's lovely. Go. Oh. That, that, that firecracker thing really does smell quite lovely, doesn't it? It, it does, yes. Oh, look at, how, look at this beautiful... A unicorn. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I shall pop it on my head like that. And some chocolates. Yes, coconut chocolates. Coconut chocolates, how lovely. Yes. Thank you very much. I mean, I am I'm looking forward to going into my... Uh, 26th year. 26th year. Yes. Yes. Because, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, I thought you'd appreciate that, you know, unicorns. Oh, yeah. It's on the theme. The yeah. whole show is dedicated to you, Lee. I did not get it. No, I know you didn't. It was supposed to not be got. got. Oh. Yes. I, I was a bit tempted with the poo thing. I thought you might get that, but... Oh, no. Well done, though. Well, well, well done, though. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, have you got any plans for your special day? I may well, Bob. I may well go to London. Oh. To London to see the sights, the bright oh. lights of the city. To buy Heat magazine. Just about yeah, magazine. I, 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 there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's an exhibition on the Titanic that I'd oh. like to see, just to remember I'm, what it was like. Apparently that's gone down very well. It has, yes. <laughs> there's a card as well somewhere. Oh, is there? Yeah, yeah. I don't know where that is. Though. There we are. This is why oh. Jason is a producer, not a, not a postman. Not a postman. Not a postman. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jay. Is it, is it, is it going to explode? It's not offensive. Queen for the day. Just for the day. Just for the day. Just for the day. And it's from us all. <laughs> oh, yeah, it literally is. From us all. Yes. <laughs> how how yes. lovely. Yes. Yes. Well, that, much appreciated. Yes. Um, thank you very much. You're welcome. Have some, have some of your cake. Well, with my bare hands. <laughs> <laughs> like you've not done that before. <laughs> like you've not just shoved your face in some cake and just gone, nom, 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 nom. corner off it. Yeah. Just, like just, an animal. Just... just Finger yourself some cake. <laughs> that wasn't sexual at all. Mmm, finger cake. Mm. <laughs> Would you like to finger my cake? I'm going to go deep if I do. Would you mind I if I go deep? Anything <laughs> less. <laughs> oh, 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 it's deep and moist. Oh, with that. Well, there's nothing on your finger then, Mike. I don't okay. actually want any of your cake. Oh, okay. I okay. was play acting for the TV. Oh, oh, right. But never mind. Never mind. The illusion is now shattered. Oh, that was my sphincter falling out. <laughs> Happens when you reach 25. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Well, that's almost the end of the show. Remember to join us on our social media at The Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And, of course, on YouTube and podcasts, just search for Chewing The Could. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye. It's going to be nice to you because it's your birthday. <sighs> A dozen red roses. It's actually more than a dozen. More than a dozen. Yeah. They're real. Oh, lovely. Mm.